Now, I was also in Georgia recently for our Three Meals series, where we break bread with voters in key states to hear what's on their mind. Polling shows the economy is the top issue for registered voters there. 66% say the country is on the wrong track. Only 19% say things are headed in the right direction. We took a, a road trip through Georgia for some yeah. good food and even better conversation. It's morning here in Atlanta, Georgia. And if it's morning here in Atlanta, the Silver Skillets Grill has been hot for hours. This spot has been feeding locals for more than half a century. Probably economy's number one. Economy's number one, okay. Uh, like so many other Americans, Susan Reeder is feeling the effects of inflation. All right, thank y'all so much. And credits incumbent Republican Governor Brian Kemp for trying to keep prices down. The state has done very well. Our governor, our current governor, has helped us with gas prices. He's taken the gas tax off. Every single day you go to the grocery store to buy food, it costs more. You go to the gas station, it costs more. Paychecks aren't going up, so you have to make changes. Will we have election integrity and confidence in election results? Michael Sullivan has lived in Atlanta for nearly 40 years. He worries about free and fair elections. And we're going to have a rule of law applied to call balls and strikes on elections, which I think Georgia showed a pretty good example of in the last election. In 2020, Georgia officials certified Joe Biden's victory in the state over Donald Trump, despite alleged pressure to reverse the outcome. Sometimes people don't even necessarily vote for a particular party. They're voting against the other party. It, it's sort of tragic, and without, you know, looking at what people, where do people derive their moral code from? I mean, a lot of people in this country are, let's say if you're Christian, love one another. Right. Where's that going? For lunch, we're headed south along Interstate 75 through the historic cotton-growing region of the state, Macon, Georgia, once a rural farming outpost. Macon still holds those same qualities, but this region is now known for retail and manufacturing. Bibb County went for President Biden in 2020, but the city is splintered between two congressional districts. The second is majority Democrat, and the eighth district, majority Republican. If you're looking for a lunch that will stick to your ribs and conversation that will long stick in your mind, H&H Restaurant is where it's at. This spot has been helping power making and its rock stars for generations. But when you're voting, what's on your mind? Ooh. Gun laws and abortion. We met Tamika Johnson as she settled into her cup of coffee. It's too easy. It's almost like I can go into the gas station, put 10 on pump nine, give me a pack of Newport short, mm. and Hand me that 22 over there. Were you shocked when Roe v. Wade was reversed? I was, like this. Roe v. Wade been around like forever. And then y'all wake up one day, I don't feel like being bothered with it, let's change it. The only race I pay attention to right now is Warnock and Hurts. Okay. Gary Heath was born and raised in Macon. The race for U.S. Senate between incumbent Democrat Raphael Warnock and Republican challenger Herschel Walker will help decide what party controls the Senate. It's one of the closest, most expensive, and controversial elections in the country. And I find it incredible for that, for that race to be as tight as what they say it is. Why? When you got a man on TV constantly lying. You mean Herschel? Herschel Walker. Why would you even consider putting a man like that up there in the Senate seat, and you cannot trust what he say. Now, don't get me wrong. Now, when he played college football, I liked him. But I don't believe a word come out of his mouth. For dinner, we're making our way down south to Georgia's coast, to the oldest city in the state, known as the hostess of the South, Savannah, which is a port city, fourth largest in America to be exact. Now, around here, it's known as Low Country because of its proximity to sea level. Okay, and what would you like? I'm starving. I seriously mean that. 
Now, you know we couldn't leave Georgia without some proper barbecue. We call this our meat candy. It's got a little bit of sweetness to okay. it. The award-winning Wiley's Championship BBQ is Nate Schaefer's place. Hey. Good to see you. And as we quickly realized, see you in a second, no food, man. Turn that chicken up. Mill at Wiley's feels like the family dining room table. I want to see them talking about how we're all going to do better as a right. country. That's all I want right. to see. Lou Valozzi is. is a retired federal agent. I, I think most people vote with their pocket, right? What's going on halfway around the world isn't an important issue to me when I'm when I'm at the booth. It's it's how how my family's doing economically is, is more important. It's just so divided. Clara Jackson believes the country is moving apart and says abortion is a key issue when she's voting. And it's just like I think I heard someone say this morning, you know, it's between their God, you know, their faith and their body. And I think that's who it should be between. So when they reversed and, Roe v. Wade, how did you feel? Um, I felt like something had been taken away from women. Something they've been fighting for for years and now all of a sudden, here it go, it's back again. Yeah. Huge shout out to the people of Georgia who sat down with me and, of course, the Silver Skill at H&H &H Restaurant and Wiley's Championship Barbecue. You know, I can confirm Southern hospitality <laughs> is real. I can tell. And they're giving out trophies for barbecue down in Georgia, I see. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they pretty sure serious. do. They sure do. And, and you know, the topics that were on everybody's mind, the economy, abortion and gun laws. And you can tell that that was the reason why you might be seeing those record numbers um, as people are coming out and hitting the polls early. And, and, you know, it's just so interesting when you look at you, you, the Herschel Walker question that yeah. came up there. We didn't really get into it earlier with Leslie and Ashley, yeah. but this idea of these October surprises that used to derail a campaign in Georgia there for some voters, some things seem to matter and other people look at it and it is simply they want to vote along their party lines and something doesn't matter as much to right. them, it's it's really it's like it's tailor made for them. And each issue is so different for each person, yeah. obviously. Yeah, and you can see what a star though Herschel Walker was though as a football player. Even the guy who was criticizing him had to be. Now, don't get me wrong, he could play football. <laughs> he might not get my vote, but he was a beast on the field. Yeah. <laughs> All right, great job, Nate. Thank you.